Hello viewers, my name is uh, Mr. Devanjo. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to be resolving the, the triangle on the screen right now. We are going to be resolving this uh, triangle. And uh, before we get it started, please, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please uh, click on subscribe button right now uh so that uh, you will be notified whenever we post information on this platform and you can also share the video like the video and a comment on it in the comment section of this video like i said we are going to be resolving this uh, triangle and uh, before we st uh, get this started or before we resolve this triangle there are some uh, situation or scenario that could uh, uh lead to this uh, kind of a triangle to be resolved we have some topics in mathematics that uh, could lead to this type of triangle that we need to resolve at the end of the day an example is elevation and depression you could have a question on an elevation and depression that would resolve to this kind of triangle when you then that you need to resolve let's say there is a there is a tower and the angle of elevation of a point uh, from the ground to the top of the tower is uh, let's say 30 degrees and uh, there's another point opposite the tower as well and the angle of elevation of the tower is uh, let's say 30 degrees so given the distance of the point from the top of the tower and the, and the other one as well and you are given the distance between the two points so you can be also find the uh, the height of the height of the tower another example is that uh, you may have uh, two uh, different points uh, that are opposite a vertical building or a tower or anything vertical or a pole so you are given the distance or let's say you're having a two ladders now let's say you're having ladders two ladders leaning against a vertical wall and you are given the length of the two ladders and you have been given the, the distance between the uh, the foot of the two ladders you can be asked to find the height of the the pole so there are a lot of uh, scenario that could result to this uh, kind of diagram so when you now have this diagram how do we resolve this kind of triangle that's the major issue or uh, when you look at the thumbnail of this video i wrote on the thumbnail how can we resolve how can you how can you resolve this type of triangle when you have a problem like this you have a triangle like this or you are trying to solve a particular question and it results to this kind of triangle how can we resolve it i just gave you some different scenario that could lead to this uh, type of uh, uh, triangle elevation and depression a ladder leaning two ladder leaning against a vertical wall uh, given the distance between the two the foot of the two ladders and the length of the ladder is, are given as well find the height of the the length of the pole or height of the wall so you understand what we are trying to do in this video so without wasting much of our time let's see how we can resolve this kind of a uh, triangle you agree with me that this uh, side is uh, label h this side is label 12 and this side is 10 and the whole base is uh, 21 so we have to find the value of our h in this case so this straight line this vertical line uh is perpendicular to this straight line that means the angle here is going to be angle 90 and angle 90 so technically we'll be having two right angle triangles in this big triangle so you have this right angle triangle here and another right angle triangle here so uh like you can see now uh if you since we know the full length of the base let's go back the full length of this base is 21 so we don't know from year to year and we don't know from year to year but we know the full length of the base so if you call from year to year hex that means we will know from year to year to be you remove your s from 21 you give us what we, what you are going to have here do you understand what I'm trying to say? Since we know the full length, 
we cannot find this value of this h from any of the two triangles we have here because we only have one side of the triangle of the right of the two right angle triangle for this right angle triangle we only have one side we don't have any other side that means we know that uh, and that's, we have another side we can easily use Pythagoras theorem to find this side likewise this one as well we only have this side we don't have any other side given to us so but we can improvise like i said if from here to here is a 21 and we call from here to here x then we can uh, i mean from here to here will be 21 minus x and that's what you are seeing right now here that uh, if from here to here is 21 the whole length here is 21 and if you can call from here to here hex that means what you are from here to here will be 21 minus x i hope you understand how we, uh, we got this then if that should be the case now we can now apply Pythagoras theorem to each of the right angle triangle i said from the first tri uh, from the first triangle from the first triangle less this one this triangle here this right angle triangle we have here so we can apply Pythagoras theorem here uh because this is the hypotenuse side so we have a 10 square equals to h square this square plus this square so that's Pythagoras theorem we have applied there this is 10 squared which is hypotenuse square equals to sum of the square of the remaining two sides of a right angle triangle so if that should be the case now then we can make this side we are looking for so such so that the formula that may you have s a square equals to 10 square minus s squared so we have only collected like times that or we have only made this one sort of the formula here so a square equals to 10 square minus s square so we have 10 squared so is 100 so that means you have a square equals 100 minus s square so we can call that one equation one the same thing we do to this second uh, right angle triangle as well we can also ap apply Pythagoras theorem here to this second triangle as well so like you said here yeah, from the second triangle we have uh, a, this 12 square which is hypotenuse squared equals to the sum of the square of the remaining two sides which is h square plus uh, 21 minus x squared so i hope you understand why we got this 21 minus x squared which is from here to here is 21 minus x so if that should be the case now then uh, we can also make a h squared so so better the formula here as well so that may be having a square cos of 12 square minus this one or come to this side you have minus open bracket 21 minus s squared so from there we can simplify this one further 12 square is then 144 then we can open this bracket in two places before we now open it with minus again so then that means you have a square cos 144 then minus you this the bracket in two places then when you open the bracket 21 times 21 will give us 441 21 times minus s will give us minus 21 x minus s times 21 will give us minus 21 x then minus times minus x times minus s will give us plus s squared so from there you can call you can simplify for that that will give us 441 minus 21 s minus 21 will give us a minus 42 x then plus s squared then this minus can open the bracket from there you'll be having uh, 144 minus 441 Minus times minus here will give us plus for 42 x then minus times plus here will give us a minus s squared i hope you understand how we open this bracket then from there we can take the like times 144 minus 441 that should give us a minus 297 plus 42 x minus s squared which is our h squared so we can call that one equation two so technically now we are now having two equations to be resolved and each of the equation uh each of the equation is equal to h squared so you can see from the equation one we got a square is equal to 10 and so 100 minus s squared pardon me for that a square is equal to 100 minus s squared and in equation two as well we got a square equals to minus 297 plus 42 s minus s squared so a square is equal to this a, a square is also equal to this what does that imply it implies something if i say a is equal to c and a is also equal to b technically you can see that there is a relationship between b and c 
so b and b will be equal to c as well so technically 10 minus s square will be equal to minus 297 plus 42x uh 42x minus s squared so that's what you're having here that this will be equal to this since a square is equal to uh, a square is equal to this a square is also equal to this so that means this will be equal to this as well and that's what you're having here so if you collect like times from there minus s square will take care of minus s square because if this one comes here it become plus s squared so minus s square plus s square will give us zero so technically you are left with 100 is equal to minus 927 plus 42x that what you are left with so you can collect like time from there this one comes here then you'll be having 42x left equals to 100 plus 297 so then this plot this will give us a 397 which is, which cost equals to 42x from there you can divide both sides by 42 to get the value of our hex so therefore you'll be having s to be 9.5 approximately so this is not the real value it is approximately to one decimal place so s is 9.5 so that means we know uh, as far as the base of the old triangle is concerned we call a portion x so we know the value of that portion which is 9.5 so the other portion will be uh, uh let's go back there quickly so if you call the from here we call this one x so that means from here to here is 9.5 therefore we can know from here to here now that will be 21 point uh, 21 minus 9.5 that will give us from here to here so that means for this triangle we have we now have two sides and from this triangle we also we are now have two side we can use them to find this uh you can use any of the of the triangle to now find the value of our h so without wasting much of our time let's go back to where we uh, we were before so we were here before we have gotten the value of our s to be 9.5 so from there now we, since we know we have it we have the two equations equation one equation two which we, we already know the value of our x so we can find the value of h from there so from equation one we have equation one to be a h square minus 100 a square equals to equals to 100 rather minus s square h square equals 100 minus s square our x is 9.5 you can substitute that here so that means we'll be having a square equals 100 minus 9.5 squared then a squared is equals 100 minus 9.5 square will give us 90.25 so from there from there we can subtract that should give us 9.75 and uh, which you can now find the value of our h by taking the square root of both sides so h will be uh, 3.1 unit approximately as the value of our h so h is the altitude of the triangle that we just uh, resolve right now and uh, we can see that it is very quite simple so when you have you are resolving a triangle better whether uh, you are solving elevation and depression or you are solving uh, when uh, a la two ladder leans against a vertical wall and you reinterpreted your question and it results to that kind of triangle this 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 is how you are going to approach the solution so i hope you have been able to learn one or two things in, in this video so i really want to appreciate you for for watching it through you can sh you may uh, help us to share the video like it and comment on it and uh, we are going to be solving more of this question in the previous uh, in the next sorry in the next uh, video you are, you are going to come across so thank you and uh, god bless you